for the power semiconductor devices igbt mosfet diode and thyristor which one of the following statement is true option a all of the four are majority carrier device all the four are minority carrier device igbt and mosfet are majority carrier device whereas diode and thyristor are the minority carrier devices mosfet is a majority carrier device whereas igbt diode thyristor are minority carrier devices okay we'll see see this is you know that what is mean by mosfet mosfet stands for metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor and we know that see this is the structure of the mosfet na if i will take the depletion type mosfet this is the structure of the mosfet and see if this is a p substrate this is must be a channel means there is only a single type of uh, carrier okay means n type means mosfet will be a majority carrier device but whereas see what is the igbt first of all we'll see the mosfet is majority carrier majority carrier device okay now we'll go for diode we know that in a diode the current is flowing due to both majority and minority carrier that is a diffusion current and drift current diffusion current and drift current means due to both both majority and minority carriers device both majority and minority carrier are available next we'll go for igbt i see igbt is a combination of mosfet and bjt mosfet and bjt igbt and before going for igbt we'll discuss transistor then we'll go for the igbt see in a transistor we know that see this is a structure of n p n and see uh, this is emitter this is collector and this is a base means carrier have to transport it from emitter to collector means it is definitely electron hole and electron means we can say both there is both type of npn and there is a pnp sorry npn and pnp transistor okay means there will be a simple it is written as bjt na it is written as bjt okay in bjt there are two types of npn and pnp now see igbt it is a combination of both mosfet and uh, bjt means can i say c igbt means input is mosfet and output is bjt output is bjt input is mosfet and output is bjt by knowing this uh, concept mosfet diode igbt and bjt only the option d will be the right answer because in option d it is given that mosfet is majority carrier but see all uh, in option a all of the all of the four are majority carrier no all of the four are minority carrier no igbt and mosfet are majority carrier see igbt means uh, there is a bjt and bjt is not fully a majority carrier device that's why the option d will be the right answer for the circuit shown in the figure below assume that the diodes d1 d2 and d3 are ideal the dc component of v1 and v2 respectively are see diode d1 and d2 are ideal means uh, there is no any cut in voltage and cut in voltage equals to zero and they are asking the dc component dc component means of v1 and v2 okay we'll see it and i think uh, see first during positive half cycle during positive half cycle see if this is a positive during positive half cycle means this v of t this is v of t na this is plus minus d1 will be forward bias d2 and d3 because this positive terminal will appear here this will be a forward bias this will be a reverse bias and reverse bias means d1 will be forward bias d2 and d3 is reversed bias d2 and d3 is reversed bias now draw the equivalent circuit 
here this will look like this it is open circuited this will also open circuited and here it is r2 this is v2 and uh, plus minus this is v1 this is r okay is there any r2 no there is r only r okay r and see this v of t this r and this r will appear in a series definitely this has appeared in a series and we can uh, say that the equal value of resistance means the voltage will equal we divided v1 and v2 will be v of t by 2 v1 and v2 will be v of t by 2 during negative half cycle now see next during negative half cycle during negative half cycle uh, if this is a negative is in this way see this will be reverse bias these two are the forward biased means can I say D1 will be reverse bias D2 and D3 will be forward bias and the circuit will look like this here it will be open circuited and it will be a short circuited this will also short circuited and here um, this is R and this is V2 this is plus minus V1 this is R now see the V1 will be V of T V1 will be V of T Okay, and V2 will be 0. Why V2 will be 0? Because the voltage across the short circuit is 0. Voltage across the short circuit is 0. Voltage across the short circuit is 0. And we know that the DC component of V1 is the DC, the DC component of V1 is, V1 is see in a first half see in this uh, only d1 is conducted now only d1 is uh, sorry in a positive half cycle only see d1 is conducted means this circuit will be behaves as a half wave rectifier the circuit will be behaves as a half wave rectifier and we know that dc value means average value and what will be the average value average value is vm by pi average in a half wave rectifier the average value is vm by pi vm by pi average value is uh, v average in a half wave rectifier is vm by pi and what is the vm vm is uh, see vm is pi means it will be a pi by pi means it will be one it will be one see in this uh, with, during positive half cycle only d1 is forward bias means the circuit will resemble as a half uh, half half wave rectifier and we know that in a half wave rectifier the average value we are, we are going to find the average of this v of t it's a vm by pi and pi by okay this one volt this one volt is divided into two parts see this one volt means the v average is what v average is one volt now and this will divide into this two part means here it will be a first v1 equals to first 0.5 then plus Okay, I think you all of you should know this due to this. Now see, in second, uh, during this negative half cycle, there is also a V1 and it is a VT and therefore we have to find the average value. See, only two diodes are conducting this and this diodes are conducting. But see, the direction of the current is same. Therefore, this also will be working as a, if these two diodes are conducted during a negative half cycle only means this is also behaves as a half wave uh, rectifier and therefore the average value is again vm by pi vm by pi and we know that the vm by pi will be vm by pi okay now see again the average value will be vm by pi means how we will put it it's a very simple it is very uh, simple vm by pi will be in this case uh, 
pi by pi by 2 but see in negative half cycle na during negative half cycle means in in negative half cycle vm is uh, in during negative half cycle vm is uh, minus pi and uh, v average will be vm by pi means it will be minus pi by pi that is minus 1 volt in negative half cycle this is in a positive half cycle this is a during positive half cycle and this is during negative half cycle means we, here we have to add minus 1 means it will be a 0.5 minus 1 means minus 0.5 volt. This is a DC voltage of V1, DC component of V1. Next, the DC component of V2 is, see the V2 is only in, V2 will be only in a positive half cycle. In negative half cycle, V2 is 0 and we know that it is equally divided means V2 will be 0.5 volt. V2 will be 0.5 volt. Okay, this is the answer. The circuit shown in the figure uses a matched transistor with a thermal voltage Vt equals to 25 millivolt. The base current of the transistor are negligible. The value of transistor are in kilo ohm. That is required to provide 1 micro ampere bias current for the, differen uh, for the differential amplifier block shown is. See, the given circuit diagram the given circuit diagram is uh, uh, is the circuit diagram of Wildar current mirror. Wildar current mirror. And we know that in Wildar current mirror, I out Re equals to Vt ln, I out Vt ln, I in by I out, I in by I out. Okay, this is a formula. Okay, but see. What is the value of I in? I in means the current flowing through the I in means the current flowing through the left of the transistor, left transistor. Okay, that is a 1 milliampere. And I out is 1 microampere. See, in the question it is given, I in is 1 milliampere and I out is 1 microampere. Okay, now see, uh, this RE, RE is the emitter register of the second register. I will draw the circuit diagram. Then it is, it will be cleared for all of you. This is R. This is minus 12 volt. This is resistor. And here it is a differential amplifier. Here it is a plus 12 volt. Okay, see. It is short circuit. This is 1 milliampere. And here it is given 1 microampere. Now see. They are asking this R. This R means RE. This RE. And this is I out. Okay. This is I in. This current will be same because the, mm, mm, the current through the base is negligible. Okay. Now see here. We want RE. We want RE means this R is equals to Vt ln I in by I out. I in by I out. And see, uh, divided by, divided by I out. Therefore, Vt is 25 millivolt. It's a 10, 25 into 10 raise to power minus 3 ln. Ln I in is how much? Is 1 milliampere, 1 into 10 raise to power minus 3. And I out is uh, 1 micro, 1 into 10 raise to power minus 6, divided by I out. I out is 1 into 10 raise to power minus 6. If you will solve this, definitely we will get, um, we'll get Re, that is R, equals to 172.7 kilo ohm. 172.7 kilo ohm. Okay, this is the answer. The approximate transfer characteristic for the circuit shown below with an ideal operational amplifier and diode will be C. This is a circuit diagram. is minus plus here it is a v naught this is r this is plus this is v in now see this is a plus vss this is a minus vss okay it is given now see this is a v in and uh, see this will be v in means when v in is positive and see uh, when v in v in is positive means the output voltage will be positive. 
and the V in is positive, the output voltage will be positive. Okay, and V in is positive means the voltage applying at the non-inverting end is positive means VO will be positive. If VO will be positive, the diode will be forward bias. See, this, this point, this uh, point, okay, this point is positive. Let this is output, na? And uh, I'm writing here this is Vx. Don't worry. I'm writing here Vx is positive. Diode will be forward bias. When the diode will be forward bias, it will be short circuited. And now see, the output of the op amp is returned back to the here. here a wire is connected between output this point to the inverting node. Means there is a negative feedback, and loop is complete. Loop is complete. Means the Vi characteristic will be this in positive half cycle. See, it is given, na, this is V in. When the V in is positive, this will. Because the output loop is completed, loop is closed, loop is completed, loop is closed. Therefore, the VO will fall, follow the V in. Okay? Now, see. When the V in is negative, this is negative, the output, see this part, Vx, when V in will be negative, Vx will be negative and diode will be reverse bias. When the diode will reverse bias, this will open circuited. This will open circuited. And now the loop is not completed. And the op-amp operates in a open loop configuration. Therefore, op-amp op -amp operates in a, see this is the only confusion. Op-amp operates in a open loop configuration. Open loop configuration. Okay, and we know that in open loop configuration and in a positive feedback, the difference input VD, this difference input VD is large enough, is large enough, okay? The difference input VD is large enough. Then, see, this is open circuited, large enough loop is open, means this VO will be zero. Now, if the uh, VO will be zero. Now see, many students will think that, many students will think that uh, when the diode is reverse bias, this V in will appear here. Now many students think that, that this V in will appear here. But see, when the diode is open circuited or before going for that, see, when V in is positive, Vx is positive, okay, diode will be forward bias, this, this will be a short circuited and see, there is a negative feedback created and in uh, negative feedback, and when the op-amp is used with negative feedback, the V plus is equals to V minus due to virtual ground concept. We can write it. Okay, definitely. Means this V in will appear here and the VO will follow the V in. Definitely. See, this V in is directly connected to the, means VO will follow the V in. Now see what happened. When V in is negative, Vx is negative, diode will be reverse bias. This will be open circuited. Now the op-amp operates in an open loop configuration. Op-amp operates in an open loop configuration. In open loop configuration and in a positive feedback, the VD is large enough and we cannot apply the virtual ground concept. We cannot apply the virtual ground concept in case of positive feedback and open loop configuration. Means this V in will not appear here. Now, the, uh, therefore the VO will be zero. Therefore the VO will be zero. Therefore I think option A is a right answer. Option A is a right answer.